Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited you guys are here. So today we're gonna to be talking about the North Face jacket and my review and what size I got. So I'm really excited to share that with you. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ella. I do fashion and styling videos on this channel. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the like button and let's get started. Yeah, I'm really excited about this jacket. So as you can see, I got this in a size medium. So I've been looking for a puffer jacket for a really long time. I was thinking of investing in one for for a while but I just never really found a jacket that I really really liked or fit the way I wanted to and I was also looking for a puffer jacket that you can kind of wear years to come I didn't want to just buy a puffer jacket you know that's going to be in style this year and then I have to keep buying over and over again I feel like I wanted to buy something once I tried this on also in a small the only problem I had with the small, I feel like, especially with my body frame, I feel like I wear a lot of layering pieces. I wear a lot of, you know, hoodies and t-shirts, layers upon layers. And I feel like when I tried the small on, because I was wearing a lot of layers <laughs> when I went to go try these jackets on, the small kind of looked a little, looked a little tight, especially from like the chest area, I feel like. A lot of layers, because I was wearing a really bulky hoodie and I was also wearing, I believe I was wearing a t-shirt underneath it. Just thought I would get the medium. I really like the length of this. It kind of hits me like right above my butt, uh, which I really, really do like. I really liked this particular edition of the North Face jacket because I feel like I really like the style of this. And it also has these adjustables at the bottom, so you can kind of make your waist tighter. But I feel like you could just kind of make it look shorter than it already is. Or you can kind of just leave it out to make it feel like it's an oversized jacket. I haven't really worn this out yet because it hasn't really gotten this cold in Canada yet. So I haven't really gotten to try out the jacket. But it feels really, really warm, especially when I wore this with my hoodie. It does come with a hood that you can kind of just leave in your collar and you can kind of open here. Inside, there is an inside pocket here, as you can see. There's a zipper type pocket. I guess you can also adjust the sleeves on your wrist to make it smaller. So you can kind of make it tighter if you want. And you can also make it looser. So that's really helpful. And I, have, I feel like it's a really good investment, especially for a puffer jacket. I've also tried on puffer jackets from Aritzia. I've tried on a bunch of puffer jackets from Nordstrom. Just a bunch of places. I, I think I like the quality of this and the fit. And obviously the style of this way better than the other ones. I also tried this on in a bunch of colors. I think I tried this on, you know, with a two-tone and I think that's red one, blue one, a bunch of other colors. But I just wanted to go with a classic black because I feel like it's never gonna go out of style. So yeah, that's my review for my jacket. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you guys next time.